Hello children, today let's learn the subtopic reading and preparing bills from your lesson, The Junk Seller. You would have gone to such markets to buy commodities. Did you ever notice that the shopkeeper gives a bill receipt after every purchase? Which somewhat looks like this. Let's first learn to read such bills. This column shows number of items purchased. This is the code and name of the item. This column specifies the cost of one unit and this column specifies number of units purchased and this is the column obtained by multiplying these two numbers. Now let's read a bill. Now this bill is from a stationery shop. We have bought notebooks. How many? Two. Cost of each notebook is rupees 40. So the money paid to buy two notebooks will be rupees 80. Similarly, 10 pencils have been purchased. Cost of one pencil is 5 rupees. So the cost for 10 pencils will be rupees 50. Similarly, two rulers have been purchased. Cost of each ruler is 10. Therefore, cost of two rulers is 20. They have bought 50 A4 sheets. Each A4 sheet costs rupees 2. Therefore, total cost for A4 sheets is 100. And when we total the whole thing, this is the amount that we have to pay to the shopkeeper for purchasing all these items. Now, this is the picture that you see for the vegetables and fruits that we have bought from a shop. Here we have prepared a bill using the same columns as seen before. This arrangement gives a clean picture of the items, their respective prices and total cost. So, the price of 1 kg apple is 90 rupees, but if purchased 2 kgs, so the cost for 2 kg apples is rupees 180. Similarly, for watermelon, 1 kg is at 40 rupees, so 5 kgs will be purchased at 5 into rupees 40, which is rupees 200. Same is the case for the other items as well. So when we add all these numbers, this is the amount that we have to pay to the shopkeeper for purchasing all these vegetables and fruits. Now look at this table to answer a few simple questions. What do we observe from this table? We observe that 1 kg cauliflower costs rupees 90. 1 kg pumpkin costs rupees 60 and 1 kg broccoli costs rupees 100. Now what are they asking? They are asking us to find the cost of 3 kg cauliflower. So 1 kg is 90, so 3 kgs will be 3 into rupees 90 which is rupees 270. 2 kg pumpkin will be 2 into rupees 60 which is rupees 120. And 4 kg broccoli will be 4 into rupees 100 which is rupees 400. So you see the answers here. So children, next time you go to a shop with your parents, don't forget to ask for the bill. Read it and check it. Thank you.